Hey guys, long haul Larry Big Blue. We are back to trucking. And I'm actually in Jefferson, Ohio. I ran down on down to um, Mount Crawford last night and ended up sitting in there for about four and a half hours, something like that. Got some sleep. And uh, and I took off after I got done with that. Drove through the night and got down here this morning. I am on my way to uh, Roundy's in Oconomowoc, Wisconsin for a 10 p.m. appointment tonight. And I got myself 450 miles to go. And showing that I should arrive at about, about 9 o'clock. I got myself... 37, 910 pounds. It's basically all kinds of like dairy grocery stuff all mixed in there. Creamers and yogurt, all kinds of stuff. And we'll run in there and deliver that. And then after that, I am going home. Um, I'm gonna miss this green light, I know that much. Didn't think so. Um, I'm actually going to be going home. I've been out here for, I want to say like a month and three quarter, like seven weeks or something like that. And there's a couple things that I need to take care of at home. And um, so I told the boss that I needed to take a few days off and it was going to be this week. And so, um, so that's the plan. And I'm not really sure when I'm going to be coming back out again. Um, I don't know. Yesterday when I was finishing out, the boss came in there at the end and he was kind of talking to me as I was running around finishing everything up. And he, uh, he said, hey, you wanted to do that truck and you were going to take that time off and everything else and he was kind of like I've been looking at freight and freight's really low on everything else and I can't really find anything paying real decent and he was just kind of beating around and saying basically he was thinking about having me uh, take some time off and take care of my truck if I want to do that and he was saying something about maybe if I have a if he has a load or something that's in Wisconsin maybe a driver comes in with a load and Maybe I'll, I'll meet that driver and switch over with him and take that load and he can have my empty trailer and he can go pick up the next one or I can go pick up his load for him or something. So, you know, help the guys out when they come into Wisconsin. His dad does that same thing. He's the one who does that. A lot of times when we drop trailers out at the yard and stuff, he's the one who goes and delivers it. Sometimes another driver will go and do it, but... A lot of times it's his dad. So, he was talking about maybe doing something like that, you know, a couple days here and there over the week, you know, and then the rest of the time I could be working on my truck or something. I don't know. Everything kind of changes all the time. That's kind of trucking. You come up with a plan and it, um, I thought maybe the light was going to turn. Right there it goes. Um, you got. And then this one turns. <laughs> they got these lights timed really well. Um, you know, you come up with a plan and trucking and stuff, and I think everything's all taken care of, and everything's going to be good. And two days later, your whole world changes. So you just kind of roll with it. So we'll see what all happens and everything. Um, I have just come up with an idea. I'm wondering if somebody makes one. I'm gonna kind of Google and look around online and stuff and see if I can find it. I just came up with an idea that I'm going to, something I might be building it would work really good for my boss out there. 
and also it'll work good for myself. And if I'm gonna be home a little bit, I might just actually make one of these things. So, I don't really wanna talk about it and put it out there until I make it. Um, because there might be something like what I'm thinking, but, and then everybody will send me all these links and kinda, I get overwhelmed with links of different things that people have made or sell or something like this. Yeah, because one item, it, it's kind of coming off of uh, something I saw that was actually made and I actually kind of have it. Um, an old boss of mine when I was a mechanic, he had one of these and it was a great idea, but it was made really badly. It has to be made right. And thinking I can just make it myself and make it so it's right. So, there you go. Top secret stuff. Um, another news, I have my order of books. It is sitting in here in the truck with me. I got boxes stacked up around me. Uh, why did I shift out of 10? And I got my, my uh, I got boxes stacked up around me here inside the truck. And I will be heading home. Um, uh, what I'm going to say is I'm probably going to um, take the books with me. I have to go on a little bit of a road trip when I get home for a couple days. Like a day and a half or something like that. And I'm going to have a little bit of free time there. So I may um, take the books with me and then give me a good time to sit down and sign all the books and stuff. And they will be posted on our uh, t-shirt website for sale on there. You guys will be able to order them on there. I've had a lot, a lot of people asking me when they're gonna be able to get the print copy. This will be your first opportunity at the print copy. I have a limited edition of them. Limited edition, I have a limited quantity of them. Um, and I, the publisher seems to think I should have probably quadrupled my order but this is what I have and, um, and so I will take care of that and post it all on you're gonna have two different options and how to buy the book and I will come out with the prices all on that and everything when we put the website up we're still I kind of have the prices in my head already but I'm just gonna wait until we make sure that this is what's gonna happen but because um, we've been looking at shipping and what the costs are and all that stuff, trying to keep it there. And so you're going to be able to buy a signed copy of the book. Um, and if you want an unsigned copy of the book, I would probably sell you that too. But probably very limited quantities. I know a lot of people are going to want them signed, so um, I'll sign a whole bunch of them beforehand. Um, but then also there's going to be availability, there is going to be a package deal where you're going to be able to get the book and a t-shirt together. And the t-shirt is going to be printed with the, the cartoon, cartoonish character, caricature picture of Big Blue. Um, I don't know if you remember before I made the announcement about that I was coming out with the book. I made a post and I put a picture on there of a caricature picture of Big Blue. And a lot of people like that and they liked the idea and they wanted me to say you should put that on a t-shirt. That was the plan. And that's going to go on a t-shirt and it's only going to be available in this purchase. You're not going to be able to buy that t-shirt separate. It's only going to be available to buy with the book. It's gonna be like a package deal and, a, and the cost is gonna be lower with the combined. I'm gonna be able to lower both of them down a little bit to make it reasonable. So, there you go. And I'll come out with the prices on those in the next day or two. But uh, I have to go and do some work for a couple, like a day and a half. And then when I get home, I'm gonna be doing a lot of projects around the house. Uh, on Big Blue. I'm gonna try to get everything knocked out while I'm there. I also need to work on a car. I need to do a little bit on my truck. 
and um, stuff like that. And uh, then if I make this for my boss, I might do that. But I'll be making all kinds of videos. We'll roll, we'll pop them out. I'll try to keep you guys entertained. So I'm gonna let you guys go for now, and I will see you guys later. Bye. Well, guys, we have made her to Oconomowoc, Wisconsin. Ready to check on in here to Roundies. A few minutes early. Got about 45 minutes for my appointment, which by the time I get all checked in and walk into the place, it'll be pretty close to my appointment. Hopefully they'll put me into a door right away. I know that John has been here recently. The one thing I hate about this place is you walk into this place and um, where you check in and there's like a desk sitting out in the middle of the waiting area and all the receiving people are sitting behind their little glass windows. But there's like a desk out there and there's always like two or three people sitting at it for the lumpers. And then all around this room, there's like 25 or 30 guys all sitting around on their cell phones, talking to each other. And they're all the lumper guys that unload the trucks. And they all just sit in this room and you can't hear anything when you walk in there. Everybody's talking. I hate, I, it's just, I hate going in there. And everybody's just standing around. You can't tell who's a driver, who's not, who's in line, who's not. And John, it bothers him too. It's real chaotic in this place. And uh, he said, now with this fire stuff, he says, you actually walk in there and um, there is nobody, uh, none of the lumper guys are in there. They all have to go into a different room, I guess. Because you can't have that many people all gathering together in a room. So they actually have cleared all them guys out so they can't sit in there. So that's kind of cool. So that's one thing I don't like about this place. is here There's one truck at the gate so we'll get all checked in and get unloaded I think I'm gonna make me some dinner. I think I'm gonna do something little, little, uh, little nice. I bought some stuff. It's um, beef tips and gravy thing that you can make right in a microwave. It's pretty good. And uh, I think I'll make that with some rice or something. Maybe I'll show you guys that. It's a pretty easy little thing, and all you need is a microwave to make it. So I think that might be my dinner tonight. Well, guys, we're gonna make us some dinner. And um, this is what I'm gonna do. I usually do this, I get this every once in a while, I like this. It's this Hormel Slow Simmer Beef Tips. I usually get this and I do it, cook it with uh, egg noodles. But it's kinda hard for me to cook egg noodles in here. So what I'm gonna do is you just take this and put it in the microwave. And it's all sealed and everything. It's been in my refrigerator for almost a week now. And it's fine that way, so this is like one of the last things that I've cooked. I've actually had hamburgers, I've had brats and everything. I've kind of cooked all the meat stuff that I bought. And this is the last thing, really, thing that I bought for this week. So I'm going to make this, and I'm going to do some rice. I do this Uncle Ben's Ready Rice. You just put this in the microwave, you just vent it, and you cook it for 90 seconds, and it's ready to go. So let's put it in there. There we go. So I just basically turn it on for four minutes. And she'll sit there cooking, the whole top will kind of bubble up and rise up. And it all heats it up. It's uh, beef tips of gravy. Well, see, there you go. Got my rice all made up. 
and then this is the the beef tips and the gravy and stuff and usually I like I said I put this on um, egg noodles and stuff I like it that way but kind of hard to boil water and stuff could do it but kind of a pain in the butt but basically I got about two mils here Oops, build some. There we go. There's a the dinner. I'll eat it with some bread. My very expensive Walmart bread, 84 cents a loaf. Must be made with the highest quality stuff. There you go. That's what's for dinner. So, time for me to eat. Well, guys, we are empty. Oh, man. Sometimes I just hate that place. I hate it so bad. Just, oh, it just gets to you so badly. It's un just unbelievable. It's so messed up because you go in there and you check in and they put me into a door right away. And I sat there and made some dinner, messed around with a video, figured out why I even go to sleep. Just a couple of hours I was in there. They were already in unloading me for half an hour after my appointment. They were unloading me. And then they got this whole thing about, because the loads there are prepaid for the lumpers. Because it's an XPO load. And it's prepaid. And I, um, Sorry, I got distracted. Um, and so they put you in there and stuff, and the lumper's prepaid, and every time I go in there, you gotta argue with them. And they always call up, And the, and the lumper service always calls up, and I, you can, and they hardly speak any English. You can hardly understand what they're saying, and they're trying to tell you the amount of stuff. And you're like, "Listen, it's an XPO load. It's prepaid." And they sit there, and you can hear them discussing it between them and everything. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Green light, come, come up here. And so I sat there, and I couldn't understand a word he, this guy says. I sat there for an hour after he called me and finally I walked in there and I walked up and I'm like, hey, I'm in 429. I don't know if I have a, what's going on here. I said, I couldn't understand the person and stuff. She got real snippy with me. She's like, it's $209. That's what he's trying to tell you. And I says, listen, this is prepaid. It's an XPO load. She turns around and holds up the paperwork that the office people gave the lumper service. It was their paperwork. And she goes, they didn't write on here it was XPO. And I looked at her and I says, ma'am, I have nothing to do with that. I don't fill that paperwork out. I says, the people five feet away from you fill it out. Maybe ask them. I'll check. And she gets up, goes over and looks at my bills, looks at it, and sure enough, says XPO on it. She goes walking over, hands me my first set of bills, and she goes, you're welcome. <laughs> there was another driver sitting at another window, and she said it, the way she said it. He turned and looked at me, and his eyebrows went up like, whoa. And I just, I looked at him, I said, I guess I just said something wrong. I don't know what I did wrong. 
and we just kind of laughed and I walked over and then then once that's done then you're supposed to wait for the receivers to call you so you get put in a door you sit there for an hour hour and a half then the lumper calls you say so can't go to sleep really then the lumper calls you got to come in here and take care of that then they want you to go back out and sit out in your truck for another hour, half an hour, hour, two hours, three hours, whatever, until they finally decide, okay, we've checked the load in now. And then they call you in. And what it is, is they don't, they don't do all the doors as they come in. They wait till they get 15, 20 doors done. And then a woman sits there on the phone I was standing there just now getting my paperwork and she was going through and just calling driver after driver after driver. You're, you're in this number door. You should have a green light, pull out and then come inside for your paperwork. And then she hang up the phone and she called the next one. That's what she was doing. And so when I got my paperwork, I walked over and tried to check out. And I says, I've been sitting out there for, since they called me an hour ago, I've been sitting out there. I don't know what's going on. I said, this has happened before where I've sat there for hours and hours and people just kind of forget about you. So I'm wondering if I'm done. The guy goes back there, looks at it, punches a couple keys on his computer. Nope. And he throws my piece of paper back out the window. We'll call you when, you're, when we're ready for you to come in. Whatever. So I go back out, I sit out there for an hour, like 10 minutes. Green light the whole time. I go walk back in there again, stand in line, go up there, hand him my piece of paper, he goes back there. And he just goes off on me, starts yelling at me. They have not checked in your product yet. We will call you when you are done. Um, just going, just yelling and screaming. And I was just, oh, I just had to take a breath. I was just, I looked at him finally through and he was all done yelling at me. I said, I don't know why you're yelling at me. Who no, cares? My camera died anyways, but yeah, I was just, I was just complaining about that place. I, it's always been that way. Roundies and Oconomowoc has always been like that. It's, it's always just a mess there. What it really gets me going is when they get all snotty with you inside there and stuff and get all lippy with you and it's like why are you talking to me like this you know they get upset because the drivers you know don't understand why it's taking so long or what their process is and and they get all upset like it you know they think it's silly and all this stuff and it's like no, you just don't know. You you've actually never been anyplace else, so you don't know this place really kind of sucks. It's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. <clears throat> There's a few places in Wisconsin that are real bad. Roundies in Oconomowoc. Super Value in Green Bay, Piggly Wiggly down in Milwaukee. Yeah, those are some bad places. There's a few other that are not great and stuff. We deliver over to that circle over in Madison. The new building isn't too bad, but the problem is, is they're never on time. If you have a two o'clock appointment, you're probably not gonna get called into a door until 2.30. It, you know, it isn't too bad though. It is what it is. The thing is, we deliver all of them. <laughs> all the places that in the truck driving of 21 years now here, it's like, and you learn all these bad places are to deliver to and everything. Since I come to work ADL, he delivers to all of them. Seems to be his favorite places. But we are home, 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 home. Hear that grinding? I need to adjust my um, my clutch.
we go guys we're gonna be shutting her on down I'm actually gonna crawl in the house I need a hot shower or something on my back neck to loosen everything up and I'm gonna go to sleep so I will catch you guys later I hope everyone out there is having themselves a great day great night as they're watching this here video and if you are not well certainly can just change it all over try it all over again tomorrow I will catch you guys later See ya.